All right, here we are today. Um, limping around still, but uh, making it around the shop. So, uh, yeah, we got a, a low rider. Uh, we're gonna do some upgrades. This thing's brand new. Super nice bike. Today we're gonna be putting this uh, Bassani Road Rage 3 exhaust, and we're gonna do a Dino Jet Power Vision. So get this thing a little more power and uh, get it back on the road. It's too quiet right now. This is how you get hit on bikes. You can't hear them coming. So uh, give it a little more oomph. All right, so the whole exhaust is loose. I'm gonna just show you what I did on this front uh, front header. So on this one, I made sure to pull the heat shield because it's such a new bike. I, I just, I don't want to scratch anything. So if that socket dings the heat shield, I don't want to do it. So I pulled the heat shield off on the rear, um, loosened all the other ones so I have a little play. But on these bikes, this is the hard bolt to get to on the other side of the exhaust flange. Just gonna show you how I do it. So there's this cover that goes over the oil uh, oil cooler. You can see it right there. And uh, I'll take this top bolt out, and it's all rubber mounted. There's two rubber mounts on the bottom, so there's a lot of wiggle. And you can fit a quarter inch drive right through here and get to that bolt without pulling off a, a whole load of stuff. Got all the old pipes off. See it's all stripped. I took the old uh, exhaust pipe bracket off too. Looks nice and clean now. So, now it's time to put on the Bassani. One thing I always do when I'm putting new exhausts on, I always tape around the flange so uh, if it drops, it won't scrape the whole new pipe up because that would uh, not be good. So put a little piece of tape so I can grab on it. It won't go anywhere. Um, then you can put it on without scratching it. All right, so the main exhaust bolts are on. See it's still loose, but it's holding. Didn't scratch it, so I used the tape. So, the customer wants to pull the baffle out of this Bassani. So there's two holes here. One's gonna hold the same cap on, the other one's gonna hold the baffle. So we'll take these two Allens loose, uh, pull the main cap, pull the baffle out, and we'll uh, start putting it together. All right, just another quick trick. So on these uh, O2 sensors, or yeah, any of the sensors, so usually you know, you'll know you go clockwise and it'll twist the wire real bad. So what I'll do before I start is counter twist it. I'll give it a couple turns. So once I start actually turning it, it'll uh, keep the wire at a straighter spot instead of uh, having it cranked tight with 10 different kinks in it. Well, I got the pipes on. These are the Bassani Road Rage 3s. They fit really nice. Got the heat shields on. Um, one thing I did do when I finished, I took, uh, you can see it down there, I took acetone and wiped the pipes off really, really, really good. Because uh, there's nothing worse than ruining a brand new set of pipes from a grease smudge or something that burns into it. This is the Bassani Road Rage 3 stainless steel exhaust, and there's no baffle.